Hi, welcome back to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm doing something completely different. I'm using driftwood I collected last year. Um, driftwood and other dried, mostly driftwood. I mean, I found it on the beach and it's dry. So, um, yeah, it's driftwood. Um, I'm using shells and driftwood and making prehistoric funky fish. So what I haven't done, and this is this is part of a plant that's been dried. It's like sort of like that. I don't know, it's dry. I also sprayed all the driftwood with varnish and cleaned the shells, but I haven't quite I haven't glued it down yet. Sorry for the motorcycle. I have not glued it down yet, so I'm going to Put it on this canvas, which is a 14 by 18 gallery wrapped. I'm going to paint the background with light blues. I don't know if I'm going to swipe it. I'm going to do that next. And off camera, I'm going to glue all this onto the driftwood because right now it's just sitting there. This eyeball actually is going to come up more, more like that. So I'm using my hot glue gun. I'm going to be putting these together. I just wanted you to see. I've been, I mean, it's like a puzzle. I had all my seashells going through all of them to try to make it work. And I've spent so much time, but I enjoy doing it. You know, I cut some shells in half to make teeth. These look like little teeth. So I took pictures of all different ways that I had it put together. And um, anyway, I enjoyed it. So that's what I've been doing. It's been a couple weeks since I filmed anything. And I'm not sure when this is going out. So anyway, I'll be right back with you. I'm going to go ahead and give this canvas some paint and glue everything together. And we'll see you in a minute. I decided to do a pearl pour. A colored pearl pour. This is the color. I'm hoping my pearls show up. This is my base. I used Amsterdam bright aqua green, Amsterdam turquoise, and some fluid acrylic golden teal to make this color. The recipe will be down in the description, but you can also check out Tara's pieces of Tara's artistry got the recipe from her. The recipe is three parts Floetrol, two parts 7300 bare untinted deep base, one and a half parts GAC pouring medium, and one to two ounces of color depending on if you use the fluid or the tube paint. And I used probably one part of the golden fluid and the and three and the other two parts uh, tube paint okay so that's what I got hopefully it'll pearl As you can see it's super thin it sinks in that's what you want okay so we got that um, for the flip cup I'm doing these colors and I guess I'll do two flip cups going this way. Anyway, the colors are, this is PBO Studio Acrylics High Velocity Iridescent Blue Green. But this color, I love, this is like one of my favorite colors. When it dries, it's so pretty. Put it down. This is Creative Inspiration's Phalo Blue, one of my favorite Phalo Blues, reasonably priced. This one is sort of a mixture. I candy rainbow blue was a leftover and I'm not sure what else is in there. This one is Amsterdam Payne's Gray and I added some white to calm it down a little bit. This one is also a leftover and I know I used some um, phalo turquoise golden and I'm not sure what else it was left over that I used in this one. This one was the Amsterdam turquoise. 
This is Deco Art 24 Karat. And this one was the Golden Teal. And I mixed white with it to calm it down because I figured I needed some lighter colors in here. And they're all almost the same cons consistencies as the base. However, I like my top colors to be just a little bit thicker. Still sinks in, just not as much. You have to hold it a little higher. You see that. Okay. So that's going to be in my flip cups. I'm going to get set up and then I'm going to start pouring it in the cups. I have no idea what happened there. Just that one spot is like that. I mean, I don't see any, I mean, there's some pearls here. I got a lot of paint off and the pearls started coming up in the corner and then all of a sudden they just, they just stopped. I mean, I do know how to get white pearls, but the colored pearls, I don't know if the 7300 I have is old. I went exactly, I even weighed, I even weighed it to the exact amount. So I'm not sure. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and I have some pearls here. I thought I got enough paint off. I don't know what's going on there. I can fix that later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and if it changes more, I'll bring you back. If not, then I'll see you, not you in a week, but it'll be about a week and a half before I can um, varnish this and get the fish on there. So I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. It's been a couple weeks. So I put a matte varnish on this. I like how it turned out. I know I have this spot right here. Not sure what that's from, but all in all, I'm pretty happy um, as an underwater pour. I have a few colored pearls, but not very many. I'll have to work on that. Okay, so this doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be putting my driftwood funky fish over it. Oops. Okay, so I ended up putting these together. This is the little teeth on there. I got the eye, the top fins. So I'm going to be placing them on here and then I'm going to end up hot gluing them down. 
Here's another one. I sort of like the uh, how this turned out. Tail. Pretty funky. And I made, instead of just those two, I ended up making some seashell fish. Three of them. Because it's always good to have an odd number. Let me do art. And then I had, I forgot what this is called, but this is like a dried sea, not seaweed, but something like a seaweed. Thought I'd put that down, so. Let's place them. I wanted the white part on top. Um, have him, the big one on the top. I don't know if I should have this sticking out or move it in. Then these two, that could cover up the dot have these two swimming down here. Um, this could go over here somewhere in the corner. I'm not sure where to put this guy. He's a little different. He's going the opposite direction of these guys. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to put him over here. Or put them up here somewhere. I could even put them up here. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be tricky. Gluing this down. Tried to flatten it out a little bit. So that's probably how I'm going to glue it down. I might use the E6000 glue or the hot glue. Not sure which, so I'll bring you back when they're glued down. Um, I'll see you in a second. Okay, it's all glued on. I decided to put the little fish down here. I think it turned out pretty cool. My funky fish. I love beach combing here in Hawaii and finding things. We don't have a whole lot of shells, not like Florida does. Um, so some of these shells I just had, some of them I did find. I did find the driftwood. If you want to support me, just like and subscribe, push the notification bell. I appreciate you. Aloha. Thank you.